Browsing the internet via a proxy is one way to stay anonymous online. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to chain proxies to even achieve better anonymity. Let's get right into this. So first, let's take a look at what proxies are and how you can use them to hide your identity. So let's take a quick drawing. Let's imagine this is you. This is your device. And this is the internet. So normally you just browse the internet straight and you get data back from the internet. But if you, for example, request a website, google.com, you can request for this website through your friend's device or through another device. So you tell your friend, help me find google.com. Your friend tells the internet, um, I'm looking for google.com and this Google server responds to your friend and your friend gives you that information. So this is the idea of using a proxy to browse the internet. So instead of going directly, you go through um, another machine or another server. So this is the idea of using a proxy. And the idea behind proxy chaining is just using multiple middlemen using multiple device before you get your request from the server or from the internet. So this is you and this is the internet or the server you want to request information from. Then you have multiple devices in between. You can have three devices. Then you request, for example, google.com and you tell this guy to give you google.com. He tells this guy to give you google.com. This guy tells this guy and this guy finally requests from the server and feeds back to this guy, feeds back to this guy, feeds back to this guy and feeds back to you before you get your information. So this gives you a good level of privacy and anonymity and the server might not know who this request is coming from. So the server thinks the request is from this device here. Meanwhile, it's from you, the last device on the chain or the first device on the chain. So this is the idea behind proxy chaining. And the more the proxies, the slower the um, request and response might be, but the better the anonymity, the better the privacy. So that's the idea behind proxy chaining. And yeah. Let's see how we can use this on your machine. The tool for using this in a Linux machine is proxy chains. So the first thing you want to do is find proxy chains. So you want to do locates and proxy chains. Let's hit enter. So lots of um, directories and files pop up. And the ones you want to look at are these ones. So I have two configuration files here. I have proxychains.conf and I have proxychains4.conf. So these two files are proxychains configuration files, but you know the one to use, type in another command. Let's clear this. Proxychains. Then you can type in Firefox, google.com. And this is just a test command. And this entering this command will just show you the particular file proxychain uses. So let's um, cancel this command and you can see proxy chain finds our config file in etsy proxychains.conf. So this is the configuration file for proxy chains. So let's edit this file. I'm just going to copy this. Let's type in nano. Let's paste this. So type in my pseudo password and let's look at the configuration file. So um, there are different options for proxy chains. You have the dynamic chain. And what the dynamic chain does is it goes through the list of proxies you have. And if one is not available, it just skips it and goes to the next one. So the next option you have is the strict chain. So um, the strict chain just uses one proxy in the particular order. And if that proxy doesn't work, it kills your connection. So that's what the strict chain is all about. So the random chain will use random proxies on the list and just flip through different proxies. So that those are the three main modes you have. Then another 
um, option you need to look into is proxy DNS request. So you want to have this option on and this just make sure you are not leaking any DNS data. So let's scroll down and see how we can actually use these proxies. So I have some proxies here and this is the example you want to use. So there are different um, options. You can use SOX5, you can use SOX4, you can use HTTP and you can use HTTPS. So what you want to do is, um, like in the example I have here, the type of proxy, you type that in first space, the proxy server space, the port. Then there are two other options here in case your proxy has authentication, you can put in the username and the password. So where do we find these proxies? So you can set up your own proxy servers by yourself on the cloud, for example, on AWS. I'll show you an easy solution on how to get um, good proxies at the end of the video. So stick to the end of the video. So you can set up your own proxies on the cloud um, by yourself with cloud providers or you can use free proxies. So let me show you how to find free proxies. So there are two websites here, spice.one, and this is another one, freeproxylist.net, and this is another one, socksproxy.net. So um, let's reload this. I'm going to use this one for this example. And the thing you need to um, be careful about with proxies is you need to use a proxy connection you trust because any of these guys might be spying on your information so you need to be sure that this is a reputable provider but if you don't care you can use any provider so let's use this as an example and i'm going to look for i'm not seeing any um socks proxy here I want to try a SOX proxy. Let's see if we can find one here. So this is a SOX4 proxy. Let's use this one. I'll copy this. Then I'll add this to my chain. So I have one SOX5 proxy here. So I'm going to type SOX4 IP address. Then I'm going to type in, let's find the port 68196. 819. So I'll save this control shift O, control X, and let's try this out. So to use this, you just do proxy chains, then the application you want to open for me, it's going to be Firefox. Then let's do DNS leak test.com. So this should open up Firefox. And let's see what's happening on the terminal. So you can see it goes through the first proxy on the list. So this is what I'm saying. Um, Firefox is telling us that this connection is not secure because of this particular proxy. This is a free proxy and I should not be using this. But I'm just using this as an example for this video. So I don't know this particular proxy server. I'm just going to use this, accept the risk and continue. Let's see what's going on in the terminal. Let's check our proxy list again. I'm going to do sudo nano proxy.conf. And let's scroll down. So it uses the first proxy to get us to DNS leak test. So I'm connected to um, this website via this proxy and yeah let's try the strict chain so i'll close this and let's go back to the options let's go up so let's use the strict chain so I want to use all the proxies here. Let's try that again. So let's go back to the terminal and let's see what's happening here. So you can see it's trying to go to this proxy, then to this proxy, but this proxy is dead and we are not getting any info from this proxy. 
So um, that's how you can test if a proxy is dead. So I'll close this connection. And why we didn't go through the, this proxy the first time is because we are using the dynamic chain and it just skipped the proxy that was dead. So let's find a live proxy. I'm going to use this one. Let's go here. Let's use one of the HTTPS ones here. Let's use this one. So I'll copy this. And let's go back to a configuration file. Let's go down. Let's keep strict chain on. Then I'll replace this guy with. HTTPS. Let's do HTTP. And let's try this again. So it's opening DNS leak test again, and let's see what's going on in the terminal. And it goes through the first proxy server, then goes to the second proxy server. This one is also dead. So let's try to chain these proxies. I couldn't find another reliable proxy server that is free. So we're going to do something interesting here. I'm going to go through the Tor network first, then go through our proxy server to request our website. So this is the Tor network, your local host, then port 9050. Then the next thing you need to do is go through our proxy server. Let's save this. So remember, you just need to add SOX5, your local host, the Tor port, then your own proxy server. Um, let's close this. Let's save this. Let's close this. Then I'll start the Tor service, sudo service Tor start. Then let's check the status. So we can see that the Tor service is active. Now let's browse DNS leak test again. So let's go to our terminal to see what's happening. And what's happening here is we connect to the Tor network. We connect to multiple addresses on the Tor network and that forwards our traffic to the proxy server. So the proxy server thinks we are an address on the Tor network. So this requests forwarding to the proxy server is not even coming from our device at all. And even if this proxy server is tracking logs and keeping logs and trying to get information about us, we are not requesting anything from our device. We are requesting that information from the Tor network and forwarding it to the proxy server. So this is how you proxy chain. The Tor service in itself is a proxy chain because it helps your request via multiple nodes, multiple devices before you get your response back. And let's try to connect via Tor only. You can do this if you don't have a secure proxy server. So let's go to DNS leak test again. And now we are only connecting via Tor. And yeah, we're in Germany. So if you don't have a reliable proxy server, you can just use the Tor network as your proxy list. Tor itself is a proxy chain. It operates like a proxy chain and with that you are proxy chaining so that's how you set up proxy chains on your linux machine if you need a very stable option for anonymous connections and private connections you can check out hillbytes sox5 proxy on aws or you can check out hillbytes vpn with firezone on aws so these are reliable solutions you can use as an individual or you can use in your organization. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something new from this. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in another video.